Hi, my name is Gerard Molto, I'm a professor at Universitat Politecnica de Valencia. In this video, I'm going to introduce the SCART framework as part of the AI Spring Runtime Environment. The AI application design workflow of an AI Sprint application starts with the application development using the AI Sprint design. Then we have the application deployment using the Toskarizer and Infrastructure Manager tools. Toskarizer creates the Tosca templates that are used by the Infrastructure Manager to provision the virtual machines and the configuration of said virtual machines in order to deploy the AI inference pipelines using OSCAR services. But the SCAR can be also used in order to delegate the execution of some jobs into AWS Lambda, the public functions as a service offering by AWS. So SCAR allows to deploy AI models packaged as Docker images in AWS Lambda. It allows to execute inference of AI models in both AWS Lambda and AWS Batch. AWS Lambda provides the ability to, to have scalable function invocation, up to 3,000 parallel invocations, uh, and AWS Batch provides the ability to deploy elastic clusters on AWS that can grow and shrink depending on the number of, of, of jobs, even with GPU support. SCAR provides data-driven enactment of AI inference pipelines, which, which involve both OSCAR services and SCAR applications for automated cloud forcing. In fact, the same functions definition language is emplo employed for both SCAR and OSCAR, which provides a seamless integration between the two frameworks. The motivations are that deploying and configuring AI models packaged as Docker images in AWS Lambda is a complex task because you need to package all the dependencies within the same Docker container, then you need to, to define an entry point, then you need to configure a source of e events in order to trigger the execution of the, of the function. And executing these inference pipelines along the computing continuum, including both clouds and public fast services, is a complex task because you are using completely different hardware resources, different computer architectures, different APIs to interact with the, with the underlying infrastructures and different technologies. Now, without AI Sprint, using public fast services such as AWS Lambda to deploy AI models for inference it's a really complex procedure. And also scaling AI model inference in public fast services, especially when you require automatic cloud, cloud bursting into elastic managed services, such as the case of AWS Batch, typically requires a manual intervention in which you need to pre-provision in advance the virtual machines and configure the elasticity rules. Also supporting automated execution of inference workflows delegating from Oscar clusters into AWS Lambda needs to be done manually. But with AI Sprint, the introduction of a SCAR framework within this project allows to run Docker-based AI models to be easily deployed in AWS Lambda. These AI models can be automatically executed in AWS Batch in an event-driven manner. It can accommodate larger execution requirements for those executions of those inference requests that do not fit within this strict AWS Lambda computing requirements, even supporting GPUs. AWS Lambda can also support remote GPU acceleration from SCARA thanks to RQDA. AI models can be executed in a scalable manner using automated elasticity on both Lambda and AWS Batch. And these AI inference pipelines can be composed of both OSCAR services and SCARA applications, and they can be run along the computing continuum because because you can run an Oscar uh, cluster on low power devices such as cluster of Raspberry Pis. Now, SCAR is typically a client side tool that interacts with AWS Lambda and which basically uses a fast supervisor which is in charge of receiving the or performing the automated data staging from the event that triggered the execution of the function. For example, when a user uploads a file into an Amazon S3 bucket which is the object storage system of AWS. So when you upload a file to S3, this triggers execution of a function and multiple functions can be executed in parallel. SCAR is also integrated with AWS Batch so, yeah, so that you can have a Lambda function that when the request of inference is directed to the, this SCAR function, which is a Lambda function, it can automatically delegate the execution into an 
AWS Batch job, which runs on dynamically provisioned virtual machines. And we also performed the first introduction of GPU support into AWS Lambda. I mean, remote GPU support thanks to RCUDA, which provides which provides compatibility with the CUDA library, but allows to exploit remote GPUs. And we did a technical assessment uh, to support or to introduce this support in SCAR in order to accelerate the executions using remote GPUs to accelerate the execution of Lambda functions. Now let's take a look at this the demo video in which we will show the integration between the OSCAR platform and the SCAR a platform in order to the SCAR tool in order to define hybrid serverless workflows across the cloud continuum. So we will see that these uh, two frameworks, two, these two open source frameworks play nice together and we have the ability to deploy OSCAR on infrastructure thanks to the usage of the infrastructure manager and here what we are going to use is we are going to upload a file to a, a Oscar cluster in order to do some pre-processing and if we take a look at the the, at the workflow we will see that uh, we will see that this uh, Oscar service is going to do some processing of this file uh, to do some object recognition and upload this file into Amazon S3 and this in this will trigger an AWS Lambda function which has been created by SCAR and the output will be stored in one data which is an object storage system. So this is an example in which you can couple the execution of an Oscar service and the execution of an SCAR service running on totally different computing infrastructure. In this case the processing tools are packaged as Docker images. see how these, uh, these uh, services work uh, together. So basically, we are using this card in order to define uh, the different services. We have the one in the Oscar cluster, which is using uh, Darknet to provide object recognition. So in the SCAR configuration file, we are including the endpoint of the Oscar cluster and relations to access it. This has been dynamically created cluster thanks to the infrastructure manager. We are using this car LS command services in the Oscar cluster, so we create the, the workflow using SCAR and we allow to create a service in the Oscar cluster and a service in SCAR, which means a Lambda function in AWS. Now once the service has been successfully created, we can just double check that it's created. Now to connect to the web page graphical user interface in the Oscar cluster, we will see the service created and we configure the execution by building a file, in this case it's a file on the top, then this will trigger the execution within this uh, Oscar cluster. And we see that the output is ingested into an Amazon S3 bucket. So if we take a look at the Amazon S3 bucket, we will see that the output file of the Oscar Lambda function is just a dummy function that is performing a, a, a change to grayscale of the image, but it could be, let's say, a, a, an AI model that is running on this output file. So this is just used for, for uh, as an example. And the output data is stored in one data to provide long term uh, or mid term data storage. So you will see that the Two services have been executed along the computing continuum, one in, in another cluster and one in, in, in extending using a cloud bursting approach into AWS Lambda. Now to delete the whole workflow using this car RM common in order to delete the services. That means deleting the Lambda function and the service in the Oscar cluster. And that's the end of the demo. So we can execute container-based serverless workflows across the cloud continuum. If you 
uh, are more interested in this this tool, you can check the GitHub repository and discard documentation. This is an open source development based on the Apache 2 license. And there are also some references uh, in which you can gather more details about how we are using these tools in the ASPRINT project and in other scenarios. Thank you very much for your attention. Bye-bye.